We all face challenges and how we handle them shows our true grit and character. We're back again with our transformational leadership coach, Carol Mendoza, to talk a little bit about life as a training field. And Carol, of course, it's always wonderful to have you here. And it's always wonderful to be here, that's for sure. Um, life gives us plenty of material mm -hmm. to work with, doesn't it? Absolutely, <laughs> yes, yes. So as a training field, uh, how do we incorporate that training field into our everyday lives? Well, I, I think that if we, we look at life as a training field, except that you know the coach is invisible, the playbook mm -hmm. probably changes on a daily basis, and we're, you know, we're doing our drills and our practice in the dark, um, but it's still going to come out, and in, in the end, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. When I look at my own life, I look at all of the disappointments or the discouragements or the difficulties, and I can recognize them now as things that have come to shape me into the person that, I've become, um, that I am now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, this is a great analogy, no doubt. Can you uh, give us an example of maybe one thing when it comes to your personal life and you look to that training field? Well. For the longest time, I had a habit of, of leaving jobs because I wasn't happy or because I wasn't getting what I wanted or they weren't meeting my expectations. And I found myself always back in the same place every time I started something new. And so I recognized that pattern. Once I recognized that pattern, I realized I got to stop blaming other people. It, I think the problem is me. You know, our viewers are watching right now, and I think they're sitting at home wondering how can they actually make this relatable to their own lives, that training field. What concepts would you suggest to them? I would say the first thing is stop making decisions based upon your emotions. Um, don't buy that exercise equipment on impulse when you're never gonna use it. And, and really look for, the patterns, the things that are consistently coming up and happening, right? Once you understand that, then you can look at those experiences and those obstacles more as an opportunity instead of a challenge. Daily reflections. Mm -hmm. Taking a look on a daily basis. What was challenging for me today? What could I do better? What could I learn from? If you are constantly looking and doing that self-reflection, that can make all the difference, for sure. The writing's on the wall for us, mm -hmm. and but we, when, as we reflect, we can make the differences that you're saying, all mm -hmm. of these uh, gems that you're dropping here today to improve our lives, and really, it brings about a peace in Absolutely. your life. Absolutely. You know, you're gonna keep getting the same lessons until you learn mm -hmm. them, so watch for those patterns, and make the changes that you need to make. Any final thoughts for our viewers, Carol? I would say just remember, don't make decisions based on emotions. I think that was the, that's the biggest thing that I can, I can really look at my own life and know that that's where I needed to make those changes. And it's not about them, it's about me. Carol, thanks so much for coming in again today. Thank you.